Have you ever wondered what the Master Sword would become if the Light Dragon wasn't the one that repaired it, but instead one of the three elemental dragons? Well, worry no longer, my friends, because I found a mod for Tears of the Kingdom that does just that. The mod is called Blazing Sword, and it makes it to where the Master Sword was repaired by the Fire Dragon Din Rall, and turns it into an extremely powerful flame elemental version of the Master Sword. So stick around while I show off this amazing mod, and don't forget to check the description to find the link to download the mod for yourself. All right, so here we are. I've got my Ember outfit on because, you know, I just feel like it's very fitting for what I'm about to show off to you all. <laughs> So yes, the Blazing Sword, and this will be something that you already have in your inventory if you already got the Master Sword in the game, because it's basically just a reskin of the Master Sword with some extra cool things added to it that I'm really excited to show off. So if we head into our inventory, onto our weapons, you can already see it right there, the Master Sword. And uh, it says its corruption was healed by its time with the Light Dragon, but for this case, it was healed with its time with the Fire Dragon. <laughs> Even the icon was changed, which is really cool, but let's go ahead and equip it. Oh, we can already see how freaking cool it looks, dude. Oh my God, it's amazing. But let's go into uh, the actual game here. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that the sheath of the sword has actually been changed and reset and man it looks so cool it's a nice red color now it looks really great especially with this outfit I think this is a great choice of outfit to wear for this video but let's go ahead and unsheath the sword and show off the beauty that this sword is oh my goodness it looks so good if we get close and take a close look we can see the amazing detail on this sword it really looks like the master sword has just been engulfed in flames especially we have a flame icon on the sword right there which looks really nice but yeah it is absolutely beautiful the hilt has been changed too it is a beautiful golden color but the beauty of this sword is not all that there is to this mod no 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 because you see this mod it actually adds some flame elemental properties to the sword. So let's take out some wood here, put it on the ground, take out our sword. And usually nothing would happen, you know, we'd have to put down some flint next to the wood to make a campfire. But with the blazing master sword, what we can do now, since it's a flame elemental weapon now, is just hit it. And there you go, it turns into a campfire. Now we can sit down, you know, wait till noon, do whatever we have to do with just the master sword. Super easy. We don't have to waste any flame elemental items. We don't have to fuse anything to the sword. Oh, speaking of fuse, wait, wait, wait. I want to see if the sword changes when you fuse it. The normal master sword looks a little different when you fuse it. It has those cool like green zonai runes on it. I want to see if this blazing master sword changes. So let me, uh, let me get something else. You know, I think, I think we'll be, we have plenty of fusible materials here. So let's just grab the, you know, a silver Lionel Saber Horn. I think we can uh, afford to lose one of our most powerful fusible items here. And then let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we got that. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh my god, that looks so cool. What? It gets lit up. Oh my god, it has purple on it. Dude, that looks amazing. Wow, look at the Triforce. Dude, it looks so cool. That is amazing. Does it look any different when we uh, when we hit? No, it still turns into the uh, whatever you have used to it, which is fine. And then it goes back to that looks so awesome, man. Holy crap. Another thing that's been changed is the sword beam, and this is really cool. So if we go and do what we would do to shoot a sword beam with the master sword, as you can see, oh my god, it just turns into a freaking fireball and burns everything in its path. That is amazing. We could probably cook some food with this, you know, let's get out some meat real quick. There we go. We'll take we'll take out a an Asanke carp. <laughs> and then uh here we go. Overkill. Oh, oh my god, I thought I just eviscerated it. Okay. So is it gonna cook it? Let's see. Can the Master Sword cook a carp? <laughs> yep, there we go, nice. Let's see, it's probably definitely not overcooked. I'm sure Link will eat it anyways. So what I wanna do now is fight some enemies and I've come down into the Death Mountain portion of the depths here because we get that really cool effect with the Ember Armor and it just looks amazing with the sword. And oh my God, wait, and I just realized now the sword actually still lights up like it does with like the Master Sword does when you come across Gloom enemies. So that is really, really cool. But yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is you don't actually have to be full health to use the Master Sword beams anymore, or shall I say the, uh, the Master Sword Fireball. So that's pretty cool. And oh wait, I wanna see how, how far, oh look. Did you hear that? Look at that. 
it's all lit up now. I wonder what it looks like fused, which brings me to another thing that I forgot to mention actually, which is kind of really cool. Let's see. So we could put a Gleok frost horn on the sword here. We can fuse it to the sword. And what it will do is we'll be able to actually use both elements. And there we go. See? All right. So here we go. I don't think, will this work? I don't even know. But look how lit, how, look how the sword is lit up right now. No, that doesn't work. Okay. We might have to fuse something blunt to the sword. So let's see. This should work. A black Hinox horn. Oh, be careful. Be careful. It's been a while since I've done some combat in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let's go. Let's see. Does this apply fire to him? Yes, it does. Look at that. That is so cool. Let's just, uh, wait, let's get out of the way here. Shoot our fireball at that guy. Oh no, the master sword is running low on energy. Are you serious already? Jesus, dude, I'm gonna have to wait 10 minutes. You kidding me? Well, let's get a good use out of it on this guy. Come on, there we go. Did we kill him? Yes, we did, nice. Hey, cut it out. Have mercy, I submit. I'm defenseless now, I have nothing else. Or do I? I guess I do. Okay, fine, I guess I'll have to use my stupid normal weapons now. Don't get to use my cool blazing master sword. Oops, I refuse to use another weapon. I'll just use my bow. All right, so I've sat here and I've waited for the sword to restore. So there's some ice Lizalfos over here. And what I want to see is if the blazing sword will just instantly kill them since it's a flame weapon. I'm going to assume that it, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to assume that it will, but I just want to see. I think it'll be cool if it does. So let's see. Let's see. I'm assuming that the fireball would instantly kill them. I don't know about just the regular attack, though. So let's find out. All right, let me take out my shield for this one. I might need it. Oh. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom. Oh, it works, it works. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> That's insane, man. You don't even have to fuse anything to the weapon. It just instantly does it. Let's try the fireball. Yup, of course, of course that works. All right, and now it's just you, my friend. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is so awesome. All right, so the final thing that I want to do for today's video showing off this amazing sword is I want to fight an ice Gleok with the sword. So let's go ahead and try it. It's been, or frost Gleok, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I fought a Gleok in the game. So uh, let's see if I can do it, you know? Let's take out the sword and just go. It should deal extra damage because it does uh, flame damage, so... I don't know, it, it doesn't look like it's dealing that much right now, but I don't have anything fused to it. So while it's still down, actually, real quick, let me go ahead and fuse something. Uh, what should we fuse? What should we fuse? Probably nothing flame elemental since the sword is flaming already. So I'm just going to fuse. Let's just go ahead. Let's let's fuse a silver Lizalfos horn. I think this is probably one of, if not my favorite fusible item in the game because it just makes your weapons look like a freaking scythe. Yeah, since we don't even have to have full health. Look at that. It almost completely takes out one of the heads. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, we got to watch out though. Let's keep trying to uh, take it out with the... Oh no, <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'm not going to lie. So let's just, uh, let's just fuse. Let's see. What, what do we got here? We can take a fire key eyeball. That should work. That should one shot it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh no, where's it going? Hey buddy. <laughs> let's see how much damage this does now. So it should be dealing flame damage plus whatever it does with the... Uh, the Lizalfos horn. And yeah, that's doing that's doing a pretty good amount. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Nice. Oh. We got to be careful. It would be super embarrassing if I if I died, right? <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's keep getting our hits in. Let's see. I want to see. Hold on. I want to see how much damage one of this one of these do. Oh no, we're running low on energy. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Ah, oh, man. Got to switch to a normal weapon now. What? Oh, this is the <laughs> Gloom Sword. <laughs> Whatever, let's, uh, here, we'll, we'll go with a, uh, Dinral's Horn. Let, let's use Dinral's Horn and just pretend like this is still the Blazing Master Sword. It still kind of looks like it, right? Right? <laughs> I swear, man, the Master Sword does, the Master Sword doesn't even have enough durability to take care of one freaking Frost Gleok. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous, man. It needs to have more durability, I swear. Hey, don't even go up. Don't even think about it, man. We're not doing all this going up there and do your fi big final attack crap man no 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 i'm done with that oh no what come on there we go uh, it didn't work oh my goodness are you serious fine is this what you wanted is this what you wanted frost gliok oh now my demon king's bow is about to die jesus man there you go freaking 
a-hole, man. I swear to God. Destroyed my Master Sword and almost my Demon King's Bow. Jesus, dude. Alright, everyone. Well, that was the Blazing Master Sword mod for Tears of the Kingdom. I actually found Dinral while I was waiting for the Master Sword to be recharged once again, so this is a perfect place to end off the video here. But no, honestly, this was such a cool and just extremely well-made mod. I'm actually so impressed with how it turned out and just how it looks and feels in general. It would be so, so cool if the mod creator created other versions of the Master Sword for the other elements, you know, Frost and Thunder or whatever it is. I, I keep forgetting if it's like Electric or Thunder or whatever. <laughs> I would totally make videos showcasing those two Master Sword mods if the mod creator decides to do it. Yeah, don't forget to head into the description down below to find the link to download this amazing mod for yourself. But alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.